Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at proving angles to be congruent. And there are two theorems within this section that are pretty important, and we're going to take a look at both of them. We're going to practice the first one in this example, which um, is going to look at the vertical angles theorem. And we have already looked at what vertical angles are, and it basically says that uh, opposite angles are congruent when we have two intersecting lines. So in this picture, these two angles here in purple would be congruent, and then the two angles in green are congruent as well. So how can I solve for x if all I know is that they're the same thing? Well, in math, remember that congruent or equals or the same all simply mean an equal sign. So if I know that the angle that is 4x whatever it is, is the same exact thing as the other angle that I can write an equation. So 4x equals 3x plus 35. So there is no, you don't have to overcomplicate this at all. If they are vertical angles, you can set them equal to each other and you can solve for x. So when I solve this, let's go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides and 4x is minus 3x is, <clears throat> gives me 1x and these cancelled and then I have 35 so that is my answer and I can check my answer which is wonderful about this because I know that those two angles should be the same so let's check so let's check out the 4x part I'm going to substitute x with 35 because that's what I just solved it for so 4 times 35 is actually 140. So let's see if the other part comes out to be the same thing. So 3 times x, which is 35, and then plus 35. So 3 times 35 is going to be 105. And I'm going to add 35 to that, which gives me 140. So these two are the same exact measure, so I know that I did that right. All right, let's take a look at another example. All right, so let's take a look at this example. And in this problem, we have a couple different things. I do see vertical angles. I see the 5x and the 65. And I'm going to change the instructions here just a little bit to solve for x and y. Now you can start this problem a couple different ways because what happens is I can start with this 5x being equal to 65. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with that. So I'm going to say 5x is equal to 65 and I'm trying to solve for x here so I'm going to divide both sides by 5. 5's cancel, and then x is equal to 13. Okay, so I have one of my answers. So how do I find out what y is? Well, keep in mind that those two angles, the one that is y and the one that is 65, have something in common. When I add those two together, I know that it makes a straight angle. I'm looking at it right here. Okay, So the sum of those two angles should equal 180 degrees. So just by me saying those words, the sum of those two angles should equal 180 degrees, that should give you enough information to write an equation, which it does. So I'm going to go ahead and write that out as well. So I'm going to say y plus 65 degrees is equal to 180. And then of course I can solve this just like any other equation. So subtract 65 minus 65. And then that means that y is equal to 115. So you could do that either way. And uh, you want to make sure that you can recognize both of those 
theorems, um, the one that says that you can combine the two angles to give you 180 degrees, or the vertical angles theorem to solve for your variables. And that concludes this tutorial.